Hey, it's Brian and John from Workshop Addict. Today we got some new stuff from Bosch and we're gonna go over this with you. I think it's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, this is the Bosch's new inductive charging system. And basically what that is, is they're taking it so you don't have to take the battery out of the drill when you're done and it's dying and put it in a charger. What they're doing here is they're taking it, the system, so you can leave it right on your tool, set it on a platform and it's charging. They want to make it so it's just easy, accessible, set it down and charge it. So how this works is we have a charging unit here that uh, alternates a magnetic field. And this, first off, will only work with the special wireless, they're calling it wireless charging batteries here. And um, you can tell it says inductive on the bottom of it here. And this, this base basically has um, a copper coil in it. And when you set it on top of the charger, it will sit on here and it's going to change the magnetic field and it's going to inductively charge it. This has been around for a while, they've been doing it with cell phones. So now they've taken it to a new level and it's working on power tools. Um, so far all they have is a two amp hour battery, but I believe the spring of 2015 they're coming out with a four amp hour battery. And uh, what this fits is the Pro. This is for anybody that's working on a line, and that would be key in an industrial line where you can work set your tool down and have it charged. And you can see by the front of this, there's a power light indicator when you have power. They call it wireless, it's not really wireless, you must have the charger plugged in. And there's also an indicator of how much battery charge you have in the front. And you gotta get you, it pretty close, huh? Well, it takes a little while. If you do not get in this little circle, which is on this pad, and it's off, it's gonna give you a great big flashing red light, which is gonna tell you it's not working, it's not charging. So you have to be in close proximity. But it's nice that they thought about it, they put the swirls in the bottom of the battery and on the charger, so it pretty much stays on there. Now, also, this unit's smart. If you sit, sit a whole bunch of uh, bolts on it and stuff like that, it's not gonna recognize this battery, this charger, and the tool, they all talk together. If you put battery um, bolts on here, it's not gonna charge. So, charge the bolts. Yeah, it's not gonna charge bolts. Okay. Um, now, this charger is WC18C. That's the inductive charging unit. They also have this frame. It's WC18F. It's a frame that has some holes in it, so you can screw it to the wall, screw it to underneath your cabinets. Um, that goes in pretty tough. I like that. It's a tight fit, and once it's in, it stays in. Now, the nice thing about it is this battery's got some wings on it, and there's basically a lip on this charger, and it holds it into place. Now, you can put this charger and frame on the wall, and so if you're in your shop, or you know, you're done for the day, you can hang it up and charge it that way. You can even hang it upside down. It's gonna stay locked in. It's nice because it gets you in the right spot. Yeah, exactly. This thing will keep it centered the whole time. Now, let's say you've got a reciprocating saw on this and you're using it. You're obviously not going to be able to stick it in there in the reciprocating saw. So you can charge tight. this with just the battery. Leave the battery in there and charge it. So, yes, that's what I said. This is a real hard, tight fit. It might just be this unit, too. It's not that bad. Uh, it's pretty know. tough. Now, there's another option for this unit, too. It's a WC18H. This is the holster. This is meant for taking your tool at the end of the day, putting it in and charging it. Take the same WC18C, slide this unit, let me see, how does this go? Slide it in this way. Yeah. Uh, you gotta go backwards. Go backwards, that's where it was. This charger slides in, and now it's part of the holster. Take your tool, line it up, and it's charging. What this is nice for is the contractor's got a, a van, he's on the go. He can have this in the back of his trailer. As he's going to the next job site, he can be charging. Again, you're gonna have to have power back there. You can get an inverter. Yeah, you got an inverter, so you're gonna have to have your trailer wired because even though they call it a wireless system, you still have to have this plugged in. Now, a couple things about this holster is there is a shelf on here that pulls out and slides back down a level down and a level up, depending on what tool you have, so it'll fit right. Also, this unit comes with 
I guess it would be called jaws Insert. inserts and they go right in here you can take these other inserts out in the manual it has a little um, chart in there that tells you if you have this drill you want insert one this drill insert two insert three and so that will make sure that your drill is being secured um, as I said this is a new thing that just came out I like it I think this is cool even if you had that on the wall something that you use often the driver you know just hang it in there it's nice I, even this I like that you're sliding it into place holding it there keeps you uh, keeps from somebody walking by and knocking it off anyway like I said this is for the pro someone like me in a workshop I can go all day on a charge I can go a week on a charge usually and then take it out charge it replace it with another battery and uh, but this is really directed toward the pros but you're really organized I mean you have a whole charging station yeah I mean, your batteries are always charged you, you know for me I come here and that's my biggest pet peeve I don't this is great Done. And Brian's got a whole bunch of half-charged batteries laying around, if that. Right, I do it to annoy John. It works. So, well, as I said, this is the, oh, one thing I wanted to tell you. Um, this charging system will only work with the inductive batteries. Um, these new batteries are all that will work, but you can charge these on the old chargers. So this is backwards compatible with the old chargers, but going forward, if you're gonna have the inductive system, you must have the batteries that match it. Just like it'll go into any tool. Yes, this will go into any of the 18 volt tools too. So they're backwards compatible completely. And like I said, in the spring, they're gonna have four amp hour batteries, but it's not all that important if you're always gonna keep it charged. You know, a two amp hour battery should last a long time. In our live audience just asked uh, if it's good on batteries to partially charge them on and off. And with these, you can continue to charge it, you know, all the time. The lithium ion technology is not like the old NICADs where you had to take it all the way to zero and then bring it back up. Otherwise, there was a, a, a memory in the battery charge. These ones can be charged whenever you feel like it. So you can slide that in and charge it, take it, use it for 10 minutes, put it back and charge it. It's not going to hurt the battery at all. Okay, going back to another uh, question when you were discussing this with other people in the shop, you said there's copper in the bottom? Yeah. And that's how it communicates basically through this. That's what the magnetic field is going to give you a charge in there, and that copper is going to pick that up. Cool. Um, this is going to charge a battery, this two amp hour battery, from a zero to 80% charge in 30 minutes, and in 50 minutes it will go from zero to 100. Live audience again. Yeah, we should probably, yeah. So. I, I think it's cool I, and it's one of the things that I'm going to have around here. I'm going to test it out and uh, my main goal is to have John come over and work in the shop and not have uh, a dead battery. So we're going to see if this solves my problem because uh, my opinion, I would love everything to be this way. You just set it down on something and walk away. Like I've said before, it's a really exciting time in tools. Um, there's all new innovations like this IDH uh, 18.2. This is their drill that they came out with this year. It's got the half inch square drive on it. It's an impact driver. That's new um, to this year. And this is a cool little unit. Yeah. So there's really cool changes coming down the pike with tools. And I got a feeling that um, Bosch is leading the way with this inductive charging. And I think a few of the other companies will be coming out with them shortly, my guess. Yeah. But especially if this does well. But this is directed to the pro. And um, we'll so keep you up to date. You know, subscribe to our channel, stop by our forum at workshopaddict.com, and we'll continue to talk about this stuff. Let us know what you think about it in our uh, comments at the bottom. Would you use something like this, or are you just happy pulling your battery out and shoving it in a charger? Yeah, we'd love to hear what you say on that one, because we're kind of divided. He's pro. I'm kind of con on this thing, so let's hear what you have to say. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video. Again, stop by our forum or uh, subscribe to our channel, make some comments, we'll interact with you. Have a good day. Talk to you later. Pictures in the middle.